if you're not saved, then there you cannot go. And we just pray that we'll worship you in the spirit and in the truth, dear Lord. And we thank you for everything. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord.
are even access to. Amen. Amen. I want to thank each and every one of you that came out uh, yesterday and contributed. Those who you weren't able to make it, we know your heart was with us uh, and came and celebrated my chapter 47. I'm young 47. Amen. 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 We had a good old time, had good food. Uh, uh, DJ Dash was on the ones and twos. And, uh, uh, MC Patrick, man, was doing his thing. We just had yeah. a good old time. Even Brother Cobra was over in the corner doing it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, man, come on, man. That was some good old fun, man. I had a good old time yesterday, man. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And Roe was having a good time, amen. Yeah. So Nehemiah left a government job. Oh, that mercy. He left a government job to go do the work for the Lord. Amen. Oh, Lord. This is something we can't wrap our mind around. You left benefits, 401k, dental vision, all of that, and good pay. Automatic pay. You're going to get paid with the government. Amen. Somebody amen. in the Social Security should say it, amen. 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 See, the people on Social Security ain't been worried about nothing during this COVID. They're going to get their check. Amen. 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 <laughs> Watch this here. Nehemiah chapter number, number, number four, um, verse 13. Therefore, set I in the lower places behind the wall, and on the higher places, I even set the people after their families with swords, their spears, and their bows. And I looked and rose up and said to the nobles and to the rulers and to the rest of the people, be not afraid of them. Mm -hmm. Remember the Lord. I can stop right there. Amen. <laughs> there are always going to be people trying to halt your progress, but be, oh, be not afraid of them. Yes. Remember the Lord. See, when you're working for the Lord, you get the Lord's benefits, you get his protection too. Amen. He signs a couple of angels, a couple of angels to you to make sure that that thing goes through. Amen. So can't no man stop it. That's shouting news. Amen. 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 So the Bible says, remember the Lord, which is great and terrible, mm -hmm. and fight for your brethren, your sons, your daughters, your wives, and your own houses. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass when our enemies heard, heard. 
your enemy is always, your hand is an enemy, is always going to be hearing something. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. That's when, look here, they only hear stuff when you're moving, when you're doing something. Yes, yes sir. sir. See, they don't hear nothing about people that's sitting up on the bridge. They don't hear nothing about them. Only people who's moving for the Lord, they Amen. always hear Amen. something. Yes, Only God. when you're trying to improve your marriage, they hear something. Huh. Only when you're trying to send your kids to a good school, that's when they hear something. Yes, Amen. So the Bible says, they heard and that it was known unto us. And God had brought their counsel to not, to naught, mm -hmm. or to nothing. That we return all of us to the wall. Amen. Every one or two is work. Is that in your Bible? Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord this morning. I'm going to talk to you from the subject lesson What Goes Along with Building. Amen. What Goes Along with Building. Let's say that together. What Goes Along. With building. Let's say it again. What goes along with building. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I'd have you to know that whatever it is that you build something of any sort that is worthwhile in your life, there are going to be some things that are going to be, that are going to come along with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. There, 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 there are going to be some things when you try to rebuild your family. As long as your family is broken up, nobody has no problem. But as soon as you trust our trying to reconcile, that's when everybody tries to step in and mess it up, don't they? That's right. Whenever the church is, is, is struggling and, and whatever it is that we don't have uh, what it is that the church uh, uh, needs at that time, uh, people have no problem. But whenever they start hearing or seeing that Highland or whatever church of Christ is thriving and Highland is growing and Highland is baptizing people and Highland is saving souls and there's a word going on with Highland. There's a great uh, music ministry going on with Highland. Whenever people start hearing that yes, kind of stuff, yes, that's when they got a problem. Yes. We're in the process of building here at Highland. Yeah. We're in the process of renovating some things here at Highland, and then people are not going to like it. Mm -hmm. That's right. But they have no problem about when two trailers sat on those, I don't know for how many years, they sat over there, one over here and one over there, and they were taking up $300 of the Lord's electricity money when nobody was using them. Nobody had no problem with that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Only they start coming by when they start seeing the buildings gone. That means they're doing something. They're letting them over there doing that. <laughs> See, people have no problem. See, they really thought Highland was going to go under. Yeah. That's what they yeah. was hoping for. Yeah. Yeah. They was hoping for Highland that was going to go under. And in fact, there was a lot of brothers around here that they tried their best to, 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 to make sure that Highland went under. Come on. But God. But God. But God. See, the thing about it is there's somebody that wanted your, your marriage to go on it, but God. That's there was right. somebody that wanted your life to go on it, but God. There was somebody that tried to bamboozle you and tried to make you, and uh, the, the, cause you to be in a messed up financial place, but God fixed it and God rearranged it and God protected it. And, oh, oh, Lord, I'm, I'm telling you, people can't do anything that God won't sign off on. That's right. That's right. But I'm here to tell you this morning and share with you this morning, my brothers and sisters, that um, when it is that, that there's building, when, when you're building, um, there are a lot of things that go on with building. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go, go real quick. Run over to Jeremiah 1 and verse number 10. It's a process to building. Amen. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, the reason why they get so frustrated and so discouraged is because they don't understand the process that goes along with building. Mm -hmm. uh, building is a dirty thing. Building is, building is a dusty thing. When you're renovating, there's going to be dust and there's going to be dirt and there's going to be a debris and there's going to be stuff that is around and it's not going to look good on Sister Sally on the front end, but on the back end when it gets built, that's when everybody sees the finished result. Amen. See, the dust and, and all of the ugly stuff in your life. See, people see now the finished product, and they start hating on the finished product of your life, but they don't know what you went through. They didn't see the dust. Hey. They didn't see the broken bricks. Hey. They didn't see the 
dark nights that you were crying. Yeah. They didn't see all the work you had to put in. All they see you, yeah. they see you on Sunday performing. They see you on, on this day or that day. They see you on stage and they want to start hating on that, but they don't yes. want what you've been through. Yeah. They want what you got. That's right. They don't want what you've been through. That's uh, right. And see, that's the process yes. that goes along with building. Jeremiah 1 and verse number 10, Brother Tom, what did the Bible say? See, I have this day set thee over the nation uh -huh. and over the kingdom. Yes, sir. To root out. Yeah. And to pull down. To root out. Hold on. He said to root out. Anybody that's using gardening terms here, anybody that understands gardening knows that you can't plant a seed until you get them old weeds up out of there. Amen. You gotta get them weeds out of it. You gotta get that old stuff, all of those words. You gotta get that stuff that's gonna hinder growth. You gotta get that out of there first. Amen. See, people just want instant growth now. Don't happen like that. That's right. See, that's what happens to young people. They just want instant fame, instant fame, microwave, 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 right now, right now. Don't happen like that. It's a process to build. It's a process to grow. Read it. It says, be rooted out. And to pull down. And to pull down. And to destroy. And to what? And to destroy. Now watch this here. Building includes pulling down and destruction. Yes. There's some things that you're going to have to destroy. There's some people, not literally, but uh, spiritually, there's some people in relationships that you're going to have to destroy for God to stop. Oh, Lord, yes. God, you're giving up your life. Yes. There's some meaning you want to get away from. Amen. Yes. There's some mindsets that you're going to have to destroy. Mm -hmm. There's some women that you're going to have to get away from. There's some friends that you're going to have to leave alone. Young people, there's some people that mean you no good. There's some people that are not aimed at what you're aimed at. There's some people that are not trying to go to college. There's some men that don't care nothing about going to school, making a career. Those are, those, there's some men, all they want to do is play PlayStation 4 all day long. I'm telling you, those are the people and the relationships you destroy. Amen. Try to associate yourself with people who are going where you're going. Amen. Some people are going nowhere real fast. Mm. Read it, Patrick. It says what? And to pull down. And to pull down. And to destroy. And to destroy. And to throw down. And to throw down. And to build. Who? Before Brother Dash. Look, check this out. Check it out there, dude. Uh, before it is that I got the building, I had all negative. Watch here. These are negative terms. But they're necessary before I got to the bill. Right. Yeah. Amen. 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 They were necessary. I'm telling you, you cannot start building. Watch this here. When I first got to this, when I first got to this church, and I'm privileged to be your minister, and I'm so glad I love you all. But there I was some stuff and some mindset that I had to start tearing down before yes. it is yes. that we start building. Amen. There's still some stuff that we have to tell them. Still some mindset. Watch this here. There's still some stuff that God's going to have to work out of me. Before he starts building, he has to work out of all of us. Amen. All of us, God has stuff that he's continually to work on. Yes. And he's Amen. trying to tear it out of us. Yes. He's trying to tear it out of us and root it out of us. And then he starts building. Because if you build on the top of rubbish, mm. you build on top of trash. And most of us, watch this here. That's what happens to us, Dad. We're building on top of trash. Yeah, mm. mm. We're building on, we've been practicing stuff for 20 and 30 and 40 years, and we're wanting to build on top of that. And God said, I don't build on top of that. See, that's an unstable foundation. Yes, yeah. Yeah. See, it happens in a relationship when it is that you're not building on friendship, first of all. Mm. You're not building and trying to get one to know one another. One another. When it is that you, all you want to do is sex, 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 sex. Sexes and then mess around and get pregnant and didn't want to get married. I'm telling you, well, you can do that, but I'm telling you, you don't have a foundation. Amen. And you're building on trash. Yes. Amen. Oh, oh. Mm. And when it is that the wind and the storms come well. and try to blow your house down, <laughs> you don't have anything. Why? Because you didn't build on foundation. You didn't build on trying to get to know one another. See, even our church, we should, the, 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 the reason, watch this here, the reason why I uh, uh, instituted and tried and promoted that birthday party, I could have had my own birthday party. That's right. I wanted to teach two things. Woman number one, I had to teach this church that you always should honor your pastor. Amen. That's a concept in the Church of Christ that everybody seems to struggle with. Amen. Amen. The Baptist people don't struggle with that. The denominational people, the Methodists, they don't struggle with that. They honor their pastor. Yeah. 
And they ain't stingy with their pastor. Amen. 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 But watch this here. And the second thing that I wanted to show the, 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 uh, for us to understand is the power of fellowship. You know how much fun that we had with one, one another yesterday? Amen. That's how we, every now and then we need to get together outside of the church building. Amen. And get to know one another. But if we got beefs and arguing all the time, mad at one another, then we can't get to know one another. Amen. Amen. I didn't know, brother, I didn't know brother Cobra can. I didn't know Brother Cobra could do that. I, I didn't know. I, I didn't I didn't know. But I found out yesterday. Why? Because we came outside. He ain't gonna do that in the church, man. But then he just he got loose on the dance floor. We done came. I need a new pin, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. So so he, he built and then he what? He he he, he what, what what did he do after he built? And he planted. Watch his head. He planted. Now it's solid. Amen. It's solid. Why? Amen. He took all of those negatives to get to the to the positive. Amen. And see, that's what we are used to hearing preaching that just keeps on building on top of trash. Amen. Amen. See, I had to tear down a lot of the trash. I had to tear down hanging in the doggone offices and hanging, and I had teachers that wasn't teaching those students. They were sitting there eating snacks and then in the, the bowl with a car. And I'm, I'm walking in the class like, Sister, what are you teaching? You're teaching snacks, ain't you? <laughs> you teaching nothing about Jesus. That boy over there calling, he's uh, in the eighth grade, he's sitting there calling the program. I said, you know what? I'm going to tear down this program. I'm going to tell you how this program, and people, people got mad at me, I didn't care. Why? Because I, got, I, I understand that you got to tear down before you start building up. Amen. Even some men got mad at me about a whole bunch of stuff. You know, I don't care. Because at, at the end of the day, I'm still going to be the preacher here. Amen. So guess what? I was trying to tear down some mindsets so I can build the brothers up. Amen. And they're doing a fine job. Give God a hand clap and praise for our brother. Amen. Amen. So, go back to Nehemiah chapter 4. Watch this here. There are three, three guys in this text. Jer uh, 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 Nehemiah is trying to, uh, he's trying to build, he's trying to do the work of the Lord. And uh, Sam Valley, Tobiah, Gershom, they always run in threes. Hmm. They run in packs of threes. They run around from church to church seeing what's going on with threes. <laughs> one with a wig, one, one with an old, oh, well, anyway. And, and, and one, one, one don't have a car, and the other one don't have, and they just drive around seeing who they, who they can report. Amen. They run in threes. True. See, the enemy can't do stuff by itself. That's right. They always got to get, yeah. you ever know people that were cowards in school didn't want to fight, they always had to go run around with a, with a game. Yeah, Couldn't right. stand alone. Sure. Still the same thing now. Mm -hmm. Nothing has changed. So, somebody, Tobiah, and Gershom, meet me in verse number seven and six. The Bible says, so we had, we built, we, we, excuse me, built we the wall, mm -hmm. and all the wall was joined together, and had thereof, for the people had a mind to work. Mm -hmm. I just said, here's the key. The people had a mind or a heart to work. Amen. Notice, Nehemiah didn't have to keep on begging them to work. Amen. He didn't have to keep begging them to throw out fires. Amen. He didn't have to keep begging them to do what it is he asked them that he wanted them to do. They already had it in their heart. That's right. See how you quiet? Yeah. 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 Because sometimes, see, we don't want to do something unless we see immediate benefit. That's right. I'll come if they begin giving out food. <laughs> but if it is they just doing Bible study, I think I won't come. I ain't going to that. Or I take a, I take away two, two or three to go place though. I'll take you up on that. I just don't want spiritual food. So I want I want the physical food. So watch this here. I'll stay broken by and come in there and get three plates and take it home and stay broken. But the real food that I got to show me how to grow and build my life, where well, I don't have to worry about the free food no more, I won't do. <laughs> because I'm carnal minded. And carnal minded people, that means me, all they think about is meat. Free meat. Free food. Oh, I ain't got to cook them out. But the Bible says these people had a heart to work. Amen. 
See, a good old wife don't cook because you make her cook. Right. She cooks because she has a heart that you're hungry and her hunger self is hungry too. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. We got to eat. And, 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 and people got to eat. So somebody got to get in there and cook. Amen. 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 And she don't serve the food here. I ain't got time for this. That ain't, I don't want it then. I know that's right. And that's how God is. When you do God like that, he says, I want you to give out of your heart. heart. I want you to serve and work out of your heart. I want you to come and participate out of your heart. Right. You know what? You know, I always notice people who, who, you know, who can't watch this here. They can make dates. We announced uh, the birthday party. I'm not offended. I'm not offended. I'm just throwing out nothing about lessons. Uh, we had some birthday party for two months. I did that intentionally because I wanted to see what was what and who was who. Because I guarantee you, if you have a two month span to, to, to plan, you can plan for anything that you want to when you want to do it. Amen. And the people who really want to come, like I said, and if I got a mercy, I pick up the phone, brother David, man, I am so sorry, man. This came up right here, and guess what? But when you show me that, then I guess what? I, I know that. I don't get offended. I just know your spiritual. I say he needs some more tearing down. She needs some more tearing down. Amen. So I can build her back up. Because if it was something, man, that was in the world and you made a date, it was a cruise. I guarantee you make it down there to Pork and Nava. I guarantee or, or, or down in uh, downtown. I guarantee if you're going out on a cruise, you're going to make that date. Right. You're going to make that date. If you got a flight, you book the flight, you're going to make that date. But all when it comes to the spiritual man of God, oh. <laughs> I'll throw on the car. <laughs> we wanted your presence. Amen. Just look straight. Just look straight. Just look straight. <laughs> we got your preacher. Amen. I love you too. Watch this here. <laughs> it said they had a heart to work. I'm in verse 7. Let me get out of this text. The Bible said, but it came to pass that when some Malik and Tobiah and the Arabians and the Ammonites and Ashtonites, anything with ice, usually Canaanites, Ashtonites, all of them ice, they are usually unbelievers. Mm -hmm. Either Jews or the ites. Yeah. All right? Watch this here. Oh, that's a good point, brother. Uh, brother that's a good, good preacher yeah. point. Either you're a Christian or you're an ite. Amen. 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 See, to remember, we're spiritual Jews. That's right. Galatians tells us we're the spiritual Israel. Referring back to Exodus, remember we're the spiritual Jew. So then, either we're a Christian or you're an ite. Amen. Amen. So watch this here. So the Bible says, he says, uh, read it, Patrick. It says what? But it came to pass. Yes. There were some Balas and Tobiah uh -huh. and the Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up. Yeah. And that the breaches began to be stopped. Yes, sir. Then they were very wrong. Now they're angry. Yeah. Mm. First point today. What goes along with building? Mm. The angry hating of the enemy. Amen. <laughs> When the wall was broken, they had no problem. problem right? They only had the problem now when it is that they heard that progress was being made. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Watch this here. He says, uh, uh, and uh, the Bible says, uh, verse 8, and conspired all of them. How? Together. Together. How did they work? Together. How did they work? Together. So why can't Christians work? Together. If evil can work together, huh. if I can get on the internet and dog another church out together, why can't I get on the internet? Or why can't everybody get on the internet and promote how to not move together? Amen. See, that's another thing. See, I can look and see how many followers that we got. And I see members that are not followers, but I see you on Facebook. That lets me know uh, you need some more care in that. Mm. And some people say, Brother Dave, it's me. I don't like what he says sometimes. Well, you ain't going to never like what I say. Because I got I to gotta listen to tear down first, and then I'm going to be here. Yeah. I'm going to be here. I'm going to tear down that stuff out of your mind. And then I'm going to be here. Come on, preacher. Reprove, rebuke, then yes. exhort. Yes. Most preaching is not preaching nowadays. Yes. Most preaching only tells you you're going to get that man, you're going to get that car, everything's going to be all right, and God's going to fix it, and they close and say, do something, go to the sermon. Well, hmm. That's most preaching. Hmm. That's not gospel preaching. Amen. Amen. 
gospel preaching, Paul said, I'm going to, he told Timothy, reprove, rebuke, and then you build them up. Right. Two negatives, one positive. That's right. People who misunderstand this preaching from uh, Les Brown and motivational speaking, they all are going to say, I don't like his delivery. Well, well. You never going to, I, I don't want you to like my delivery. I want to prick you in your heart to change. Right. I'm yeah. trying to tear the devil down out of you. Yeah. Then I'm going to build you up and you can make it, man. Yeah. You can change, man. You can do it. I can do all things through Christ Jesus. Yeah. Strengthen me. Yeah. But I got a town and old devil out of you.
But you about building and growing, you tired of them, you tired of that rubbish that's in your life. Mm -hmm. You want to grow? You tired of the rubbish in your marriage? You tired of rubbish, you're trying to fit it, you're trying to fit it in the way you want. You want your family to come together? Why don't you come on in and get some of this good work? And don't come along. Come on, bring somebody. Amen. Yes, bring yes, somebody. So what goes along with building? Hating. Come on, what, 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 what is it? Verse 7 was hating. Let's say hating. Hating. And conspiring on the enemy. Yeah. Look at this. That goes along with it. Yes. Whatever it is you're doing something worthwhile, get used to it. Mm -hmm. Look here. Watch this here. Hating and conspiring of other people always validate that you're doing something right for the Lord. Amen. If they're not hating on it, if they're not conspiring, that means you're not building a wall for the Lord. Come you're on. building for yourself. Come yeah. on. See, a lot of see, I'm, I'm weary of brothers that always watch this. Because, like I say, I'm not just talking about how to love you. I've been, when I speak in, on anything, I'm speaking out of 20, I was 20 years' experience. Amen. See, brothers are good at always wanting to do something if it's going to benefit them. I want to make a deal that's going to benefit me. They always want some idea for the church that's going to benefit them. That's right. Lord have mercy. Want to make money off the church all the time. Hmm. The thing about it is, if you would get in the Lord with a pure heart, God will open up opportunities where you ain't looking to make no money out of the church. You're looking to give some money to the church. But that's all, that's an old rubbish. That's an old rubbish value we gotta tie down. And I'm determined we're gonna tear it down. Amen. Or either you're gonna roll out of them doors. Get your doors and that double door right there. Amen. Why? Because God is into building it out. Amen. You think he brought us all of these years to keep on doing the same thing? Amen. God is doing a new thing in this church. Amen. He's doing a new thing in this church. Yeah. He's doing a new thing in this church. Yeah. We're building families over here in this church. Yeah. We ain't selling for people being, being broken at home in this church right here. We're doing a new thing. We got we got love in this church. We got brothers studying in this church. We got brothers treating their wife right in this church. See, we about, we about something a little different in this church. Yes. We about women dressing men, dressing modestly in this church. Yes. We, 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 we ain't dressing like we finna go to the club. That's right. No, 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 no. Not at this church. Why? And watch this here. I'm not talking about people who are coming off the street. Because we got to teach them first. I'm talking about the saints who know about them. Amen. Amen. We patient with people who don't know. That's Amen. Right. Yes, sir. I'm real patient with people who don't know. You know what? I'm hard on saints to know. Amen. But then the people who cry about, I don't like what he said. <laughs> because I'm trying to mature you a little bit. Amen. I'm trying to mature you. I'm not, I don't want to say what you want me to say. Because right. you're not going to grow like that. I'm challenging you to grow. Amen. Watch this here. So the Bible said, where was I at? Let me get out of it. Go, go ahead. Verse, verse number nine. Go ahead. He said, read, read verse number nine. One more time. Nevertheless. Nevertheless. We made our prayer unto our Lord. Hold right there. So that's the next step. Hating on the enemy, conspiring over the enemy, but the praying of God's hopes. Amen. See, that where there's conspiring, where there's hating, there must be praying. We gotta be praying. Good mm -hmm. teaching to you, I thank you. Yes. Watch this here. Uh, there must be praying of God's people. Yes. See, we should be praying all together, man. We should be knowing what's going on. Yes, Watch this here. Everything that's going on with Holland Avenue, uh, we should be wanting to, we want, wanting to participate in it. That's right. right. Because this is our church. Yes. Yeah. This is our church. If you don't want to be identified with Allen Avenue, go where you want to be identified on. I'm not trying to run nobody away. I'm trying to tear down the mess, man, because we're trying to build. Amen. Amen. You're going to be with us, be with us. If you want to go on somewhere, go on. Amen. Amen. Because all you're doing, and all you're doing is deterring people, man. Deterring people. Because some people, man, watch this here. Some people, man, whoever they bring always end up falling out. Hmm. There's a trace behind that. And I look at stuff like that. Hmm. Always somebody, man, always, and whoever they always bring, and all, they always end up getting tainted some kind of way. Hmm. Whoever they're associated with. He says in verse 9, nevertheless we made our prayer unto God. Yes, sir. And then we what? We set up a what? Watch. 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 See, we should you should be watching. Yeah. Even, even the sister should be watching. Yeah. Watch brothers who don't amen when I'm preaching. Watch. Yeah. I watch them. Yeah. I watch them. Yeah. 
Watch brothers who's too cool to say amen. Watch them. Watch them. Watch men who are always complimenting you on your body all the time. Watch them. Watch women who are all impressed, impressed by your stuff all the time. Watch them. Yeah. See, we gotta start watching. All we wanna do is talk and act, but God says, set up a watch. And in one instance, he said, Jesus said, you need to watch and pray. Yeah. And then you pray again so you know what it is that you're praying that you're watching for. That's right. Amen. Amen. So, so he said, I'm told him, the Bible says, nevertheless, we made our prayer to God and set a watch against them. Uh, Read that. It said what? Set up a watch against them day and night. Day and night. Because of them. Because of them. And Judah said, the strength of the bearers of burdens is decayed, and there is much rubbish. So that we are. Amen. There is rubbish. <laughs> Can't deal with rubbish. Mm-hmm. Rubbish is trash. It's all it's good, good old English. That's what English people, when they say it's garbage, they don't say garbage, they say rubbish. Yeah. Rubbish. <laughs> Some Christians are full of rubbish. <laughs> and God is trying to drive up the rubbish out of your life so he can build you up to be a solid Christian. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. The Bible says what? Read it. It says, so that we are not able to build the wall. That's what the devil is into. He's into creating where you cannot build. Say. Oh, I help out when I start seeing people come, but when I saw Mother Betty by herself, I don't want to help out. Come on, preacher. Come on, preacher. So I get quiet. That's yeah. how I know it's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know it's the truth when people start getting quiet. Why? They can operate. Right. When, a, when a patient is on an operating table, they never talk. Because <laughs> they're under anesthesia. Right. And when this word goes out, the Bible says it cuts both ways. So that's when I know it. I'm on to something when it is it gets real quiet and I just read it out of the Bible. Yes. Dr. Daly is operating again. Watch this here. Verse number 11. I'm going to leave you alone. Watch this here. It's hot up in here. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Turn, up, turn, turn down the heat a little bit. Uh, turn up the, little, uh, the AC a little bit more. I'll search a little bit. For me. Uh, amen. Watch this here. And our adversaries said, they shall not know neither see till we come in the midst among them and slay them. Mm-hmm. And what's their mission statement? And cause the work what is the haters' motive? To mm. come to work to cease. Yes. Yeah. Right. Mm. But with God, let me in on, let you in on a secret. If God is for it, for it, who can do it against it? That's right. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. If God is for your marriage, who can be against it? Right. If God is for your home, who can be? If God is for your for your job and your finances and what you're doing, you're doing what you're doing with you know, wholeheartedly, you're working hard, who can be against you? Amen. God is for you. Thank you, Lord. But when you're full of rubbish, he's still for you. But he just he's gonna get that rubbish on out of you. Amen. Amen. See, we've been used to the old thing. All you do is just sit around and praise and sing and sing and sing and sing and sing and sing some more. See, I can still be full of rubbish and sing. Amen. But when this right here, when the law of perfect liberty starts hitting me, man, look here, that's going to make me feel uncomfortable some kind of way. Just start doing that look. <laughs> Why? With the, with, with the clap on me, I forgot to clap. <laughs> that's how it hits you when that word comes and you're not living right. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Watch this here. <laughs> Come on, it's time to go eat. Watch this here. Verse 20. The Bible says, and it came to pass, come on, Patrick Titus, it said what? And it came to pass. Yeah. But when the Jews which dwelt by the cave, yeah. they said unto us ten times. Ten times. Mm. How many times? Ten. ten times. Read it. It said what? Now these were Jews. Uh-huh. Hold on. So the Bible. Jews were God's people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Nehemiah was God's people. Mm-hmm. Why would Jews be fighting against Jews? Mm. And that's interesting. Yeah. That's how you always know, even though somebody can be in the church house. Right. There you go. Look at it. Watch this here. They can get wet. Sure can. But if they don't come up, watch this here. All they got is a free bath. Yeah. They went down a dirty Jew and came up a dirty Jew. Woo. Why? Because there was no 
conversion in the mind. Read the verse, uh, uh, Patrick. It says what? Uh huh. Which dwelt by them came. When they when, when, when they dwelt by them came, they said what? They said unto us. They said unto us ten times from all places when ye shall return unto us, they will be upon you. Read it. Say verse thirteen. Therefore set I in the lower places behind the wall. Yeah. And on the higher places, I even set the people after their. So watch, watch what's going on. Watch what a real leader does. Hmm. Watch this here. Nehemiah is the leader here, right? Yeah. yeah. Therefore. He sat in the lower place behind the wall. When he seen the attack of the enemy, he didn't say, oh, I'm just going to let God handle it. No! <laughs> See, that's our excuse on our way out. Let God handle it. God handle it. Well, he going to let God handle it, but he got to take action as a leader. Amen. See, sometimes what it is, see, we want to use that as a crutch. Yeah. God going to handle it. God, yeah, God will handle it, but you want to faith without works is dead. Yeah. When somebody coming and attacking your house, you just gonna go just, 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 just come and say, God don't handle it? No, sir. Oh, no. no, sir. They're attacking your family, God don't handle it? No. Yeah, he will handle it, but if you won't do nothing, God won't act either. That's right. Watch this here. God will never do what it is that you can do for yourself. Amen. That's powerful right there. Amen. That's tweetable right there. Yeah. God will never do what you can do for your. God specializes. His specialty is the impossible, what you can't do. Amen. That's why he gave you a mind. That's why he gave you hands and feet. That's why he gave you a body. That's why he gave you the ability to think and taste, and taste, touch, and break, and, 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 and all of the faculties that you got. Because he expects you to do so much, and then he'll do what you can't That's do. That's right. Come on, preacher. Faith without works is dead. Yes. I'm looking for a man. Well, fix your hair first. Then <laughs> fix your heart. Your yeah. heart coupled with your hair is a star. Then yeah. do your toes. Yeah. Or either wear closed toe sandals. I mean, closed toe shoes. All right. Hey, Amen. I'm trying to teach you something right here now. Yeah. Because we're going around without pedicures, open with open toe shoes, and that turned like, man, the man was going to talk to you. He said, oh, no. I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. Don't walk around with chick toe nail pot. That's nasty, man. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You got to let the people look down on these people. I understand. No, I'm trying to help you for real. Real talk. Men, let me let you know. We look at feet. Yes, sir. Look, Brad, I heard Brad. Brad said amen. Brad said sure do. We look at feet. Amen. Well, but guess what? Me, we can go get a pair of here too. Amen. I go get pedicures too. Amen. Amen. They may give me the, 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 the little Chinese lady with the big salt coming up in there, man. And they always give me the old lady with them old strap sandals, man. With them, you know, them, them wooden sandals. They always send her, they give her the good lady and he send, he send the butcher on me, man. <laughs> You can put Vaseline on your toes. No, okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. But hey, guess what? I know how to go. And I know how to get this stuff shaved off. And I guess what? I know how to have a nice romantic time with my wife. Amen. Amen. Maybe you should try. Amen. 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 All right. All right. All right. So. I don't hear no bass on that. <laughs> With a bass like <laughs> Okay. All right. Let me hear it, Patrick. Come on, man. We got to get out of here. The Bible says what? Therefore, I set I in the lower places behind uh -huh. the wall, and yeah. the high places, uh -huh. and set the people after their families yeah. with their swords, their spears, and their bows. What, what, watch what he's doing. He's strategizing. The man of God is strategizing. Mm -hmm. See, the man of God has to run. Watch this. All week long, I'm strategizing the church. Mm -hmm. Strategizing. See, that's why, you see, uh, most people haven't been thinking what I've been thinking. See, this is my business. This is what I think. I think this church all day long. Amen. Shirley knows. She gets tired of me texting her sometimes. I know she do, but I, I got to get this stuff done. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I didn't text her changing the bulletin, Shirley, but Shirley didn't be so nice. Okay, brother, baby. Thank you with a little smile. Baby. She, bless you, Shirley. Uh, Amen. Look here. That's why I look here. That way you ain't going to be able to outthink me on Sunday. I've been thinking this thing all week. I already look here. I'm thinking ahead of what you're going to do when I come to say, come to tell you what it is that we're doing. I already know what your, what your reaction is going to be. I'm already ready for plan B. Oh. Woo. 
Because this, I mean, I think this thing all day long. See, men who lead have to strive that. You should be doing the same thing with your own men. Amen. You got to be thinking your strategy. See, you should know your wife. Amen. You should know your wife. You should know the, 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 the what it is, how it is, what she like, and what she don't like. Amen. You should know her little, her little monthly unique this time. Go on and go get her little uh, whatever, whatever, and her little candy that she like, her little sweet and sour pickles or whatever that she like. Get it ready. That little week of the month. Amen. Amen. That's right. See y'all, man, come on. That's right. I'm trying to help your sisters now. You don't even know how to smile. Man. That's right. That's right. What am I saying? Men have to be more sensitive to their wives and their men. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. See that thing? Hey, that thing works both ways on me. Amen. Women have to be more sensitive to our men. Amen. That's right. Women have to be more sensitive to our men. Amen. Amen. You guys know what, what it is that we need. Why, why shouldn't we have to ask you to make a lunch when we go on to work? Amen. Amen. Okay. All right. Let me close. Y'all, let me get real. Go ahead, Pat. Let's get out of here. The Bible says what? Verse 14. And I looked and rose up and yeah. said unto the nobles. Yeah. Be not ye afraid of them. Yeah. Remember the Lord. Remember the Lord. Which is great and terrible. Yeah. And fight for your brethren, your sons, and your daughters, your wives, and your houses. Look at, look at what's at that stake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, we what goes along with building. You're not even when you build up and build this church. You think you think you're not building. We, this ain't my church. It's Jesus' church. Amen. Amen. I'm just a servant here. Amen. That's just here. You're actually, when you build, God helps. Watch this. It's a, it's a reciprocity process. Mm -hmm. When you sow in and help help build a church and grow the church, then, of course, more people, more morale, more money comes in, and then we are going to do more ministry, and then it comes and helps you because the man of God is freed up to be able to help you in your fix. Amen. Amen. <laughs> but see, some of us are so selfish. All we think about ourselves, and that's why we always own craps. Yep. Because we're only thinking of ourselves. If you only knew this spiritual fight, you're fighting for your sons, your daughters, your families, your houses. You're fighting for that. Amen. It's a fight. Amen. There's somebody that wants to rape your daughter. You're fighting for this stuff. Amen. There's somebody that, 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 that wants to talk so down to your son where he don't even have no self-esteem. Mm. This is a fight. This is a fight. We got black women now that don't even want to be married no more. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why? Because they're so bitter with sorry black men sometimes. Mm. And here I am trying to build them up. And then when you go and gossip out in the street, all it does is tear my work back now. I'm trying to build your man up. Amen. Amen. Younger men and older men too. Because in the Lord's church, older men need help. Amen. Because they built on top of all of this rubbish. Amen. And you're fighting for your family. You're fighting for your wife. Amen. You're fighting for your grandchildren. Amen. You're fighting. You say no joke, play toy. You're fighting for your future. Yes. Amen. Watch this here. Verse 15. And it came to pass. Enemies heard that it was known to us that God had brought the counsel to not. In other words, God frustrated the plans of the enemy that was trying to destroy your life. Amen. <laughs> Two people said amen. And I, just now, I just now gave you some uh, admonition that, man, you should be running around this church right now like an idiot. Yes. I just told you the enemy had a plan to come and destroy your life, but the God brought it to naught. Yes. He had a plan to destroy Highland Avenue, but God brought it to naught. Yes. Watch this here. Because we understand the hating of the enemy, we understand the conspiring of the enemy. We understand the praying of God's folk. Amen. But in verse 15, the Bible says that we all, each, we return, all of us, to the wall. Yes. Everyone to his work. But where there's 
Watch this here. What goes along with building is hating of the enemy, conspiring of the enemy, yeah. the praying of God's folk, but the working of God's folk. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get the work out of Avenue. Yeah. Let's get the work. Yeah. Let's get the work. Yeah. I don't know how we can get the work. Yeah. Get the work. What's at stake with the working? Oh, I ain't gonna help Brother Dave. I'm telling you, I'm gonna get help anyway long as I keep preaching the word. Quit worrying about me. Amen. Cause you ain't gonna do it for me anyway. That's right. Do it for him. Yes. He's the one who died for you. I can't die for you. I'm a sinful man myself. Amen. I can't die for you. Amen. You're working for him. Amen. What goes along with building? We can't build if nobody's willing to work. That's right. Nobody's willing to come to the church building. How can we build? That's right. You know what? I look at stuff, man. I think, oh, even, and, 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 and other people have done stuff. Brother Searson, man, so, this man has a, he has a real good heart. Amen. Even when he can't be here, he's always in support of another church. Amen. Oh. Sister Candace is like, you know what? Sister Candace is like, nobody told her to break donuts. That's right. She's working for the Lord. Amen. Uh -huh. And that one donut. Could you get the right person out here that can go out and get 10 people to come to this church? And I'm telling you how the Lord works. Amen. It all starts in your heart. Amen. People who don't have to be big and ask to do something, those are golden people. Amen. Everybody got faults. Everybody had a kid can stand room to grow from the preacher back to the back door. That's Amen. right. But guess what? No matter how many mistakes I make, my heart is right. Amen. My heart is right. My heart is right towards God. Amen. My heart is right towards you. Amen. I want you to grow. Amen. I want you, I want everybody in here to be in love. Amen. I want you to know how it feels just to be in love, to know somebody got your back, to know somebody love you, know somebody will rub your feet at night. Man, no matter how ugly they are, but they still rub your feet. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> I want you to know, man, when I was broke, man, and when I just said when I was broke, man, this lady stood by me. Amen. I want you to know that. I want you to have that in you. And it ain't just with you because you got something. Amen. She was making more money than me. She helped me get my master and my doctor degree. Amen. She did. Amen. The whole thing, I want to bust my tail and make sure she had what she needs. I want everybody to have an attitude. Amen. And I feel so bad for women, man, who they men don't, man, don't have an attitude towards them. Mm -hmm. I really feel bad for them. Mm -hmm. Why do I feel bad for them? Because every woman deserves to be loved. Amen. Every man deserves to be loved. Every woman deserves to be loved. Well, God didn't make, and, and you know what, God, please make sure you come to my renewing of the, the family forum. Man, look here. God did not make the woman to be doing the bills all by herself. Amen. See, you ain't going to hear no bass on that right there. I'm all by myself. That's all right. I'm big dog. I can do it by myself. All right, big dog. Go for it. God made Adam and gave him a job before Eve was even created. Yes, Amen. He did. And we have men, and all they want to do is sit back on a woman. Mm -hmm. But they stand around talking about their dream. <laughs> Quit dreaming and get to work. Amen. And as you get to work, God will give you what it is that you need to do, my man. That's right. Amen. It is here today. And you're subject to the Lord's invitation. You're ready to build your life. You're ready to help build a church. The church has already been built. All God needs you to do, what is here? All God wants you to do is love him enough to recognize what he did for you on Calvary. He died, he was buried, he arose the third day according to the scriptures. And he said, you know what? I would expect you would have an instinct of a response because I did that for you. Your reasonable service would be to work. Your reasonable service, not to just come up here and pop up and move a couple of tables and pop out of here and say, I didn't need my work. No! Mm -hmm. He wants you to have a heart to work. Amen. 
He wants you to continue. It's a present active part. So he wants you to work and he wants you to continue to work. Amen. Keep on working. Yes. You don't, you don't just landscape around your, your yard one time. It takes maintenance. Amen. You got to clear out the weeds. You got to replant flowers. You got to put, put new seeds down. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of maintenance. Why is the church any different? Amen. The church takes work. Amen. Building takes work. Yes, we can we, we, we can build, but the thing about it is we're trying to build people. Amen. Amen. If this is what you want in this church, look here, we got to come back together Amen. the right way. Amen. Amen. Come on, church. This ain't no pep rally right here. Mm -hmm. This right. is real talk. I'm talking from the bottom of my heart right now. Amen. I'm telling you, if I don't see you working, you're not going to really like me too much because man, I'm, I'm going to keep on working on your heart until either you're going to leave or you're going to work. Amen. You're going to leave or work, either one. Because why Why would you come? Everybody else is working. Why would you just get, get a free ride? It ain't right. That's right. It's like playing basketball. Somebody's going to shoot, shoot, shoot three points, but you don't want to guard your man. I hated people like that on my team. I run you off the court if you're on my team. You didn't play no defense. You want to shoot. Freeze him out, man. Don't pass the ball, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't, no, no, go to the corner. Go to the corner. <laughs> You know what spiritually we're doing the same thing. I'm telling you, you're going to the corner, man. You should stay in the corner right now. <laughs> stay in the corner till you're ready to play the defense. When you're ready to play the defense, now nah, I pass you the ball. Pass you, and then I'm going off the screen, and then hey, I'm not sure the bounce pass it back into you. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, go to the corner if you ain't going to work. Amen? Amen. Amen. Here today, you serve to the Lord's invitation. Come by here and believe, repent, confess, and be baptized for the remission of your sin. If you want to come to Jesus today, you can do it. Amen. You want to get the rubbish out of your life this morning. Why don't you come as we together stand and say, if you want prayer this morning, come on this morning, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on this morning. Thank you. 